Good afternoon and assalamu alaikum everybody. I hope that you all are fine today. My dear students, welcome back to the second math session by your teacher, Ms. Reda. So, where were we? In our last session, we were discussing chapter number one, sets from your book. And we have discussed definition, important sets, three ways of set representation, and types of sets. Okay. Now, we have discussed all these topics in our first session. Today, I'm going to start with overlapping and disjoint sets. First of all, what are overlapping sets? Here you can see that, for example, A contains the element 1, 2, 3, 4, and B contains the elements 1, 2, and 5, 6. Here you can see that two sets are given in which form? Tabular form. Okay. Now, in these two sets, the common elements you can see one, two. Common elements means these elements are both in set A and both in set B. Here, one, two belongs to both set A and B. These type of sets are called overlapping set. I'm going to repeat it. Two sets having common elements are called overlapping sets. Okay. Again, I'm repeating it. Two sets having some elements common are called overlapping sets. Now, what about disjoint sets? Disjoint sets. For example, A contains element 1, 2 and B contains element 3, 4. Here you can see that. Is there any common element in set A, in set B? Is there any common element? No, there isn't any common element. A contains 1, 2 and B contains 3, 4. No elements belongs to both the set. Yes, Ahan. Okay, no element common between set A and B. That means these, these sets are called disjoint. Disjoint set means sets having no any common element. Is it clear? Okay. Now, union of two sets with an diagram. Union of two sets with Van diagram. Now, what is union? What is meant by union? Union means combining. And what is meant by union of two sets? Union of two sets means combining two sets together. In this topic, we are going to discuss, what we are going to discuss? Union of two overlapping sets, disjoint sets, and union of two sets when one is a subset of the other. But before starting this, Let's discuss what is a Venn diagram. Okay. Venn diagram. Venn diagram is a pictorial representation of set. That means we are representing the sets by picture. Now, by picture, how can we show the Venn diagram? How can we represent a set? For example, if A is a set containing element S and B is a set which contains the element Y. How can by picture we show these two sets? We can show like this. One circle contains S. Remember one thing that for each set we have to draw a circle. Okay, that means two sets are there. We have to make 
How many circles? Two circles. One circle contains x because here is only one element x. And here, one set contains y. Therefore, here in this circle, write down the element y. Because there is only one element over there. Okay. Now, the circle which contains x is belongs to which set? A. To write down, write down A over here. And write down B over here. Why? Because Y is an element which belongs to set B. Is it clear? This is called the pictorial representation of the set. Pictorial means by picture we are representing the sets when diagram. We are representing the sets by picture. Remember one thing, for each set we have to draw a circle. Okay? Here, two sets are there. We have to make two circles. So simple. Now here I'm going to share two rules for drawing the band diagram. Rule number one is view the sets given in the question and then draw the band diagram, which we have already done. What we have done? We have, uh, we have viewed the questions. We have viewed the set given in the question and then we have drawn the band diagram. Okay, now step number two is shading. But sh before shading, check the answer because shading depends upon the answer. Here you can see that nothing part is shaded. Shading means you have to shade, for example, you, you can shade the X part or Y part. But here nothing is shaded because here the question is incomplete. There isn't anything for solution. Okay. So here we have followed the first rule that view the question and draw the diagram. Question ko dekha and when diagram draw. Okay. Rule number two is shading. For example, if in the question, after solution of the question, if we get the answer X, for example, what we have to do? What we have to do, we have to shade only the X part. How can we shade? We can color this part only. Okay. Now, for example, if we get the answer, we get the answer Y, then we have to shade only Y. But if we get the answer X and Y, we have to shade the whole band diagram. So, what are the two rules? Just take the question, draw the band diagram. Number two, shading. And shading depends upon the answer. Is it clear? Now, moving back towards our topic, the topic is here. The topic is again, I'm moving back towards our topic union of two overlapping sets. Here you can see that if for example, if say A is equals to 1, 2, 3, 4 and B is equals to 1, 2 and 5, 6. Now, these two sets are overlapping sets. How do you know that these two sets are overlapping sets? Because here some elements are common. Right? Now, how can we combine these two sets together? Because here we have to find the union of two overlapping set. Union means combining and overlapping means the sets which are having some common elements. Now, let's find the union. A union. Here, this symbol capital U is used for union. Okay. A union B. A union B is equals to First, copy down the elements of set A over here. Okay. Then capital U is there. U. Then B is there. Then write down the elements of B here. Okay. Copy down the elements of set A union B. Now, how can we find? How can we find the union? Union means combine. Here you can see that. First, write down the element 1, 2, 3, 
four. Now, write down the elements of set B also because we are combining the two sets. Now, one. Again, just look at the element. It is already written over here. There is no. There is no need to repeat it because from the definition of the set we know that there is no need to repeat the element. We are not allowed to repeat the element. Okay. Therefore, two is also over here. There is no need to repeat it. Now, five and six. Curly bracket. Close. Here we get the answer of A union B. Now, how can we draw the Venn diagram? Now, how can we draw the Venn diagram? Here you can see that for overlapping, we have to draw two overlapping circles. Here you can see that these two circles are overlapping. Am I right? Overlapping means like this. You have to draw. The two overlapping circles or overlapping set. In this overlapping part, you have to mention the common elements. Here, look at this. Here, mention the common elements. Here, you can see that the common elements are one, two. Okay. What you have to do? Just encircle the common elements. Write down the common elements inside the overlapping part. Okay, and then what you have to do? Write the remaining elements of set A. As this is your set A, here you can mention this is set A, and here you can mention this is set B. Okay, now this set is of set A. Now in this set A, you can see that A contains. Look at the elements: one, two, three, and four. A contains one. Two, three, and four. Right? And what about B? B is a set that contains one, two, and five, six. Am I right? Now, here you can see that this is a circle. Here you can see that this is a circle of B, and B contains one, two in the overlapping part. And five six outside the overlapping. Why I have not written five six inside the overlapping because five six is not common. Okay, that's why I have written five six outside the overlapping part. Here B contains one two five six and here A contains one two three four. Is it clear? Now here you can see that you have drawn the Venn diagram. Step number one, rule number one, you have followed that you have to draw the Venn diagram and write down the element inside it. Step number two is draw. Uh, step number two is shading. Shading depends upon the answer. Shading depends upon this. This is an answer. Here the answer is one, two, three, five, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Am I right? Here the answer is one, two, three, and five, six. That means you have to shade the whole Venn diagram. What you have to do? You have to shade the whole Venn diagram like this. I have done. I have to shade the whole Venn diagram. Okay. For example, let me make you more clear. For example, after solution, if I got the answer only one, two, three, four, what I have to do? I have to shade this part only. Okay, that means one, two, three, four. And for example, if I get the answer one, two, and five, six, then what I have to do? I have to shade. I have to shade the this part, okay. Or for example, for example, the answer is only one two. What I have to do then? I have to shade only the overlapping part, okay. What are the two rules of a Venn diagram? Now, is it clear to you? Now, union of two disjoint sets. I have already told you what 
is the what is the meaning of union means combining this joint sets means the sets having no any common element here you can see that a contains element 1 2 3 and b contains the element b contains the element 5 and 6 is there any common element no there is n now how can we find the union here you can see that first copy down the element of set a this symbol is for union okay union copy down the elements of set b and then you have to combine it okay now let's combine these two sets together is equal to curly bracket open One, two, three, five, and six. Curly bracket close. Okay. What we have done? We have combined the two set together. Okay. We have combined. We have find the union of two disjoint sets over here. Is it clear? Let's talk about the Venn diagram. How can we draw the Venn diagram? From the question, it is clear that A and B sets are containing the elements which are not common. That means these two sets are disjoint. Disjoint or disjoint sets. Keep remember in your mind that you have to draw. two circles like this okay that means you have to draw two circles separately in the first circle at the top write down a and then write down the elements of set a in the second circle write down the elements of set b okay now here you can see the venn diagram this is the rule one just look at the question and draw the venn diagram rule number 2 is shading shading depends upon the upon the answer now look at the answer you get the answer 1 2 3 5 6 that means you have to shade 1 2 3 as well as 5 6 okay now again for example if you get the answer 1 2 3 what you have to do you only have to shade a Okay, in the same way, if the answer is five six, you have to shade only five six. Union of two sets when one is a subset of the other. For example, if A is a set that contains one two three four, and B is a set that contains one two one two only. Here you can see that B contains the element which are also in set A. That means you can say that B is a part of set A. B is a part of set A, or you can say that B is a subset of other. B is a subset of set A. B is a part of set A. Now, how can we find the union of two sets when one set is a subset of another? That means when B is a subset of A. Now, let's find the union. Here you can see that A union B. Copy down the elements of set A, then union, then set. B elements. Now, how can we find the union? So simple. One. Copy down the elements. Two, three, and then four. Now, what about this one two? We have already written one two over there. That means there is no need to repeat the elements. Okay. That means we get the answer one, two, three, four. In this way, we can find the union. 
of two sets when one is a subset of the other. Now let's come on the band diagram. Before I explain the band diagram of the given question, let's take two set. For example, if I have a set of Pakistan and I have set of Karachi over here. I'm having these two sets. Okay. Now, as we know that Karachi is a city of Pakistan. That means Karachi is a subset of Pakistan. Or Karachi is a part of Pakistan. How can we draw the Venn diagram in such situation? Make one circle for Karachi and you have to make another circle for Pakistan. But if you make the circle like this, it will be drawn. Why? Because you know that Karachi is a part of Pakistan. You are not allowed to draw the two disjoint sets because Karachi is a part of Pakistan. Okay. Now, how can we draw the Venn diagram? For this question, this type of question, we have to draw the Venn diagram like this. Now, you can see that Karachi is a city of Pakistan. Karachi is a part of Pakistan. Is it clear? That means what I have done. Look at again. What I have done? Just look at the question again. First you have to draw the circle for the subset. Write down the elements and then you have to draw the bigger circle. Okay? In the same way, you have to draw the smaller circle. That means B is a subset. That's draw the smaller circle first. That means draw the circle of subset first and write down the elements over here. Elements are elements of B are one and two. You have to draw the circle for B. Then what you have to do? Then you have to draw the bigger circle like this. And then you have to write down that uh, this circle represents A. And A contains the element 1, 2, 3, 4. But here you can see that already 1, 2 is written inside the circle of B, which is inside the circle A. Okay. Therefore, there is no need to write 1, 2 again. Here, just mention 3 and 4. That's it. Okay. Here, read down, read the elements. Now, B contains the element 1, 2 and A contains the elements 3, 4 and also 1, 2. Why 1, 2 is also the elements of A? Because a contains this set inside it. Is it clear? Is it clear that why we have drawn the smaller set inside and the bigger one outside? Because B is a part of set A. In the same way, Karachi is a part of Pakistan. It is a city of Pakistan. Okay, now here from the answer, it is clear that we have to shade the whole Venn diagram because the answer is 1, 2, 3, 4. That's why we have shaded the whole Venn diagram over here. For example, if in the question we get answer only 1, 2, then we will shade only 1, 2. Okay. Now, for example, if we get the answer 3, 4, we will shade only the outer part of set B. That means we have to shade only this part. Okay. Now.
Now students. Now here you can easily identify that these are three Venn diagrams of union of two sets. This diagram is for overlapping set. This Venn diagram is for disjoint. And this diagram is for when one set is the subset of the other. Yes, overlapping, disjoint, and when one set is a subset of the other. Intersection of two set with Venn diagrams. Now, intersection means finding the common. Okay. Here we are going to discuss intersection of two overlapping sets, two disjoint sets, two sets when one is a subset of the other. Intersection of two overlapping sets. Here, for example, if A is equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, and B is equals to 1, 2, and 5, 6. Okay, then A intersection. Here, this symbol is used for intersection. A intersection will be first copy down the elements of set A, intersection, elements of set B. Now, let's find the common elements. The common elements you can see. The common elements are here. You can see the common elements one and two. These two elements are common in both. That means the answer is only one and two. Okay, because we are finding the intersection. Intersection means finding the common. So the answer is only one and two. Okay. Now, for overlapping sets, we know that we have to draw the circles like this. That means two circles are overlapping. In the overlapping part, we have to write the common elements. Here, the common elements are 1, 2. Common elements are 1, 2. And the remaining element of set A is 3, 4. So, write down 3, 4 outside the overlapping part. Now, look at the set B. B contains the element 1, 2, 5, 6. Here, you have mentioned already in the overlapping part 1, 2. And here you have to mention outside the overlapping part 5, 6. Why outside? Because 5, 6 is not common. That's why you have to write the elements outside, which are uncommon. And Step number two is shading. And here you get the answer one, two. That's why you have to shade only the, only the overlapping part. That is one, two. Okay. Now, number two is disjoint set. For example, one uh, set A contains one, two, three, and set B contains five, six. How can we find the intersection? Again, intersection means finding the common. Is there any common element between 1, 2, 3, and 5, 6? No. That means the answer will be a, what is this? It's a null set. Answer is a null set. Okay? Here, answer is a null set. Now, how can we draw the Venn diagram? Now, how can we draw the Venn diagram? From the disjoint sets, we know that we have to draw two separate circles like this. Okay. We have to draw two separate circles. In set, in first circle, we have to write the elements of set A and mention at the top set A. And in the next circle, mention the circle annotation name, that is set name B, and write down the elements inside it. In the left corner, you have to mention that what you are doing. You are finding A intersection B. Now, what is the rule number one for finding the Venn diagram, for drawing the Venn diagram? Rule number one is look at the question and draw the Venn diagram. Rule number two is shading. Shading depends upon the answer. Here, what is the answer? Answer is here, nothing. Nothing means a null set. Null set means nothing will be shaded. Here you can see that there is no need to shade anything. Okay? 
neither the A is shaded nor B. Okay. Now, next is intersection of Z when one is a subset of the other. Here you can see that again. A contains one, two, three, four, and B contains one, two. B contains one, two. Here you can see that B is a part of set A. Okay, these two sets are not overlapping. Why? Because B contains only those elements which are the part of set A. For example, if B contains more elements like five and six, some uncommon elements, then it will become, then these sets will become overlapping sets. But here, B is a part of set A. A, that means these B, this B is a subset of set A. How can you find the intersection? Look at the question. First copy down, first copy down elements of set A, intersection elements of set B, then find the intersection. One, two, one, two. That means the common elements are only one, two. That's set. Now, how can we draw the Venn diagram? We know that when one set is a subset of other, we have to draw two circles, one circle inside the circle. And here, from the Venn diagram, you can see that the subset will be copied inside the circle, bigger one. Here, B contains the element one, two, and A contains three, four. Okay? Now, after drawing the Venn diagram, we have to do shading and shading depends upon the answer. Now, where is that answer? Here you can see the answer. Answer is 1, 2. That means you have to only shade B. Okay? There's no need to shade the whole Venn diagram because only the answer is 1, 2. 1, 2 are the elements of set B. That means you have to shade only B over here. Now, is it clear? Students, here you can see the three band diagrams. Now it's, it's very much easy for you to identify these band diagrams. This is for overlapping, this is for disjoint, and this is for subsets. Now before starting the example, we are going for a break. See you within two to three minutes. So be there with me, my dear. Don't go anywhere. All right. <laughs> 